Hey, what's going on, guys? And we finally have a Thor Love and Thunder trailer. I really wasn't sure we were going to get one at all because they've been... How long we've we been waiting for? A really long time. And the movie's only a couple months away. I didn't think they were going to give one. But we finally got one. And it's it's not at all it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. We finally get an overarching plot of the movie. And I guess it's really Thor trying to find purpose after Endgame. Now that... Uh, I guess all the big bad guys are destroyed and he needs to find a new purpose for other than be a god of Asgard, I guess. I mean, I don't know what other purpose you'd want other than that, but okay. But so he goes on with Quill and now they're, you know, exploring the galaxy to, I don't know what they're doing. I guess, I guess they're going back to doing what they're always doing, uh, jobs for money and just surviving and, and whatever. And I guess he's looking for purpose in that, but uh, this is where uh, I'm kind of worried about the movie because there's no real plan there is a there could be a, a good movie with thor trying to like figure out what he wants to do i mean that's a pretty good story to tell but the way marvel has handled everything you know not hold my breath because they've messed up everything else but i guess they can't really you know make it worse but uh, you say that and then they do so we get some scenes with him uh getting in shape i guess because he was fat thor so we can't have you know we gotta have the ladies to have something to look at. But, you know, God forbid we have any of the men have anyone to look at. But, but I digress. We see a lot of cinematic shots of uh, planets. Uh, it looks to be on a pirate ship. There's some blue-haired lady. Uh, not sure what that means. So is there going to be some small adventures? Uh, I don't really know. And I'll add this in now before I forget. They have a really funny slogan in it. And it's just so ironic that they put the, in, this in there. It says, not every god has a plan. And I just thought, hey... Just like Marvel has no plan. <laughs> but that also makes me think that this movie may have no plan. That's what, kind of my only worry is that that's, it's going to be like a filler and a nothing movie when it's supposed to be like the first like, you know, crown jewel of this phase four. And there's it's a, it's a nothing. It's just a filler movie that has these characters floundering around in space, just doing little small adventures. But it doesn't you know drive the whole story where like all the other movies, uh, they was their own little self-contained story, but it, it drove the the overarching plot further where like so far all these movies that have come out in phase four kind of they only have their own little self arc in the in their movie and it's terrible so it's not even good to watch but there's nothing for the bigger arc there's no big villain like we knew like Thanos was always in the looming in the background we don't really have that with any of these movies they're kind of like their own little self-contained adventures and they're not very entertaining to watch so yeah, that's kind of really my only real concern is with this movie is that they're just going to be floundering around with nothing really happening. You may have some mild, small adventures that it might be interesting, but that's at best it might be a popcorn movie. You just, you go there, enjoy the popcorn, but I don't know, is it going to be worth going to see the theater for a mediocre Marvel movie? Like, like I said, this is supposed to be like the first crown jewel for phase four and when it's just this middle of the road, just mindless, shut off your brain, laugh at the jokes when, you know, it's when it says laugh or the laugh track plays. Like, uh, I do think the best thing they can do for this is to just keep it focused on the two Chris's because they're what's going to make the movie interesting because I liked them in, in Endgame when, you, when they went out on in space to, I forget what they're doing. I never, I, it's been so long since, I, since I've seen Endgame. But I remember those two were really funny playing off each other. And if they continue that, that could be what makes this movie actually entertaining and the only thing enjoyable to watch. I never really liked uh, much of the others in uh, Guardians. I mean, uh, the raccoon's fine. Uh, Drax is uh, he's, uh, he's okay. He's just funny bits. Um, Groot's I mean, just says Groot. And then what's the... Uh, Gamora is not funny. But there was a quip that I did laugh at, so I'll put it in. In the eyes of the people that you love. What? Just listen. That was about the only part that I kind of I did chuckle at it. So I'm hoping uh, with that, you know, they sprinkle that kind of comedy because I did like the comedy and uh, was it Thor Ragnarok? I know some people didn't. It was hit and miss, but you know, it it kind of brought Thor because all the Thor movies have been garbage. I hated. I didn't really like Thor one. It was okay. I know everyone's like, uh, it was good. I'm like, nah, no, nah. it was it was okay at best. It wasn't no. Nah. And Thor 2 was so... I didn't even finish Thor 2 because of how much I hate... It was so boring. I couldn't stand it. And then Thor Ragnarok I liked, but because they actually dialed up the comedy a lot more. So that made it a lot enjoyable for me. 
So I'm hoping they do that, that with this one too. And that might be the only reason that this movie might be enjoyable. But then again, like it might be only a like a one time, two time watch, and that's kind of kind of the vibe I'm getting from this trailer. We also got a runtime of two hours and ten minutes, so we know it won't be overly very long, which is nice because uh, no one wants to sit through a three hour uh, movie. So I'm pretty sure the studios told them to, like everything's got to be kept around two hours at most. Oh, and because I'm doing this review a bit later than most people. I see everyone just freaking out about how like Natalie Portman got so jacked and she she did her work. I'm like, do we know this for sure? We're seeing a could have been a highly edited photo. I mean, we know people have been literally brought back from the dead, so I think they could add some some muscle to her frame. That wouldn't be a hard thing to do. I I wouldn't think. I don't know. I mean, that's just me. I maybe I'm thinking that they wouldn't. I I don't think Natalie was hitting the gym very hard. I mean, I'm sure she was, but uh, everyone's just freaking out, I see, on Twitter and everything. Like, oh, she's put so much muscle. Oh, my God, she's done so much. Ah!" But uh, I don't don't think she did. I I would have to see um, a photo. Like, no no one's being... What's his face? Uh, The guy in Immortals? uh, I forget his name. Uh, You know who I'm talking about, though. The the guy everyone was freaking out about that he put on all this muscle. He played with uh, Batista in that caught buddy cop movie i forget his name but i'm sure you know who it is anyways i think i'm pretty sure that they just threw on a, bu- a bunch of muscle on our cgi cgi muscle but i could be wrong uh like i said i haven't seen any like uh, recent photos of her i can't remember i can't remember uh last time i've ever seen her in anything so i could be wrong but who knows we'll find out i guess uh when uh, this movie gets closer and maybe we'll see a red carpet of her and she's not like Looking like an IFBB pro. Uh, well, we'll see. I guess that's all I really got to say on this movie. Um, it looks... I think at best, it just looks like a popcorn movie. I think you'll have to shove your brain to it. There'll be enough quips and little jokes for the normies that might like it. I, I don't know anything about the actual comic series of Love and Thunder. Um, we'll leave those to, you know, the nerdrotics to tell us about that, how close it is. But uh, well, I guess we'll see. Uh, it comes very... It's very soon, so uh, that's all I got to say. It doesn't... Uh, it's, it looks okay, but uh, with the way Marvel currently is, I mean, don't hold your breath to anything. And an okay movie is probably the best we can hope for at this point. Anyways, uh, thanks for listening.